This morning, as we talk about giving back, we're also talking about caregiving. Did you know AARP has a wealth of family caregiving resources? Deborah Turner, who is a volunteer with AARP Kentucky, joins us. Deborah, that was something that I've learned over time, and I hope that our viewers have learned over time. If they didn't know, AARP, I mean, has so many resources when it comes to caregiving and providing support. Right. AARP has recognized over the years that there are 42 million or more family caregivers across the country. And in Kentucky, we're fortunate to have over 640,000 people who are concerned and caring for their neighbors and their loved ones. They're providing the services that our state couldn't afford if they had to provide them, such as grocery shopping and taking them on uh, their doctor visits, even bathing and so on. But these are the caregivers that our society depends on to make sure that people can live in the best way possible for the rest of their lives. Now, you've been a caregiver, you've been an executor, you understand exactly. I mean, you're talking the talk that you've already walked this walk. What are some of the biggest struggles for caregivers? Some of the biggest struggles that I found were trying to decide to make a plan, uh, figuring out what you need to do before we get into a crisis situation. It's just not something we think about early on. And AARP has been so, so helpful to people to provide information that helps us develop a plan for caregiving, helps us figure out how to develop a team. We can find support. In Kentucky, there are resource guides available to tell us all about the URLs that we need, the phone calls that we can make, the jargon that is out there so that we can talk intelligently to uh, those who are working in the health professions. And caring for ourselves is actually, when we're caregivers, one of the most difficult things we've got to do. And it's so important that if we got to care for ourselves, uh, because if we don't, whoever's caring for our loved one just isn't there. And that's one of the things I found out that was so important and didn't have all of the information that AARP now provides at the time that I was serving as an executor and a caregiver. What are some things for you, Deborah, that work to kind of help alleviate a little bit of that stress? One of the things that is so important is not losing touch with friends and other support. And AARP has actually provided a list of materials and information on their Caregiving Resource Center, which is really probably considered the central hub for all caregiving information for AARP. And they provided a document down that says uh, the six M's for a caregiver in self-care. It's stay in touch with people with mail, use music to encourage yourself and use movies, take some time out. Think about the kinds of things that you're eating. Don't eat fast food because it's just comfortable for you very quickly. Try to think about making sure that you're healthy, mindfulness, trying yoga, trying something that takes you away from the moment, of the moment and then movement. Uh, exercise is just so important when you're a caregiver and trying to be the best person you can be for that person you love. Absolutely. And one of the things that I also appreciate, though, about AARP, and in particular today, AARP Kentucky, is that while you're encouraged to be a member, you can access those resources regardless. Absolutely. The Caregiving Resource Center is available to anyone. You don't have to be a member. And you can go on that website, which is aarp.org forward slash caregiving, 
or there's also a phone number for those who are not really into doing something on the computer, but that's 1-877-333-5885. And that's the Caregiving Resource Center. Well, Deborah, a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me and I wish everyone success in their caregiving venture. Absolutely. Well, as AARP says that you can learn more and live better. Visit aarp.org caregiving for caregiver resources.